All right, so continuing the Marzog left-hand rule with some more examples here, we have 330 degrees. So take a look at 330 degrees. This is 270, this is 360, so it falls right in here. This is 360 and this is 330. Uh, you can just tell that's going to be a 30 degree angle there. You subtract it. So 30 degrees, that is your ring finger, which you put down. So sine is square root of 1 over 2, which is 1 half. Cosine is the square root of 3 over 2, which is 3 over 2. Tangent is the square root of 1 over the square root of 3, which when you uh, rationalize, you get root 3 over 3, which is not a problem. So all you do is flip them to find the rest. Flip that to get 2. Flip that to get 2 root 3 over 3. And flip that to get root 3. Okay, but since we are in quadrant 4... Quadrant 4 only. Cosine is positive, so that means cosine is positive and secant are positive, but everything else is negative, so tangent's negative. That means cotangent's negative. Sine is negative, that means cosecant is also negative. 2 pi over 3. Reference angles are a breeze when they are given to you in radians. The reference angle is pi over 3, but just in case you don't believe me, you do pi minus 2 pi over 3 to get pi over 3. Remember, reference angle is easy, it's whatever the bottom is, pi over 3. Your pi over 3 finger is your 60 degree finger, that's why I put that down. So that's square root of 3 over 2. Cosine is the square root of 1 over 2. Tangent is the square root of 3 over the square root of 1, which is root 3. To find the rest, you just flip them. So it's 2 root 3 over 3. Secant is 2, and this is root 3 over 3. But we were in uh, with this one. We were in quadrant 2, and in quadrant 2, only sine is positive. So this is positive, and cosecant is positive, but everything else is negative. Cosine's negative, tangent's negative, so those are also negative as well. 5 pi over 4, the reference angle will be pi over 4, but just so you can see it, this is where it would be. 5 pi over 4 minus pi is pi over 4. So that is your middle finger. So your pi over 4 finger or your 45 degree finger. So that's root 2 over 2. Sine would be, or cosine would be root 2 over 2. Tangent would be root 2 divided by root 2, which is 1. And then you just flip them all to get the rest. So cosecant is just root 2 because it would be 2 root 2 over 2, and the 2's cancel. Um, cosine would also be root 2, or secant would also be root 2, and tangent would be 1. So because we were in quad 3, tangent is positive. So if tangent's positive, then cotangent is positive as well. And because of that, since they are um, what's positive, okay, since that's um, what's positive, um, then everything else is negative. So cosine is negative and secant is negative and sine is negative and cosecant is negative. 11 pi over 6. 11 pi over 6. Well, the reference angle is going to be pi over 6, but just in case you need me to prove it for you, um, you do 2 pi minus 11 pi over 6, so you get pi over 6. And pi over 6 is your 30 degree finger. So, uh, square root of 1 over 2, square root of 3 over 2, uh, square root of 1 over square root of 3, which is root 3 over 3. Just flip them all. So, if when you flip them to find cosecant, that's 2. When you flip that, that's 2 root 3 over 3. When you flip this, it's just root 3. In quadrant 4, the only thing positive is cosine. So positive cosine, which means positive secant, but sine is negative and tangent is negative. So that means cosecant and cotangent are both also negative. That's a lot of examples using that rule. And even look up some examples in 6.3 without the Marzoc hand rule as well, but you can use all of those tons and tons and tons and tons of examples. Use them. No math is required, basically, to do these problems when you use them. Okay? So if you have any other questions or concerns, please let me know.